14 seconds, Alaphilippe, the green jersey, comes to the front to try and put Mark Cavendish in position for what would be a dream win. Cavendish is there, Case Bowl is there. Who's going to win in Fougere? Is it going to be Cavendish? Cavendish takes the stage. Wow. Cavendish is back. The Max Missile wins in Fougere. Never, ever write off the man who's won 30 stages in the Tour de France because now it's 31. Mark Cavendish, one of the most successful sprinters of all time, was a shadow of his former self going into the 2021 season. The rider who used to be unstoppable in the bunch sprints was simply struggling to make it to the finish line in major races. Cavendish gets ready, he's been doing loads of work on the track, he waits a little bit long. Bauhaus goes, they're not going with Cavendish. Cavendish peels off, Bauhaus goes for it, they've outwitted them, they all went for Cavendish, but it was Bauhaus they were going to ride for. Let's face it, sprinting is a young man's game and at 36 the Manx missile was getting older. Oh, big crash! I think it's Cavendish. Well, he hit that heavy, fingers really crossed heavy. he is okay. Had years of high-speed crashes crippled his confidence, his battle with the Epstein-Barr virus seemed to be the final nail in the coffin. Ahead of the 2021 season, however, he was offered a last-minute, one-year contract with the Koenig Quickstep, but it seemed that the only person who believed in Mark Cavendish was Mark Cavendish. I knew at Quickstep that I had some of my best years of my career here and uh, some of the happiest years of my career here. And, uh, I'm so fortunate to have been welcomed back by the team, by the riders, by the staff, how I was. And when you have a connection, you have a formidable squad, you know. Uh, cycling, obviously people know the jobs of a sprinter, of a ruler, of a domestique. It's not cut and paste like playing a computer game, you know. I think with anything in life, not just cycling, people work better when they have an emotional connection. And that's what we have here, and that's why it's nice to be here. Cavendish had won 30 stages in the Tour de France, six in one edition alone. In 2008, he began his wins, but his last win in the Tour de France came back in 2016. He battled with Epstein-Barr virus and he'd been switching teams a lot. But then he moved to Dukuna Quickstep in 2021 and the wins, four of them in the Tour de France alone, followed. Mark Cavendish waiting for the rest of the leaders' jerseys. The last time Mark Cavendish won a Tour de France stage with a green jersey with stage three to Angers in 2016. Cavendish is in a perfect position in the green jersey, looking for a hat-trick of wins in Chateau He's never been beaten in this place. Cavendish bites now and goes. The Max Missile going. Oh, they're all over the road. Cavendish in the centre. And Mark Cavendish wins number 32. Cavendish remains unbeaten in Chateau, his hat trick of wins in this town, and he's now on hat trick on the stage win number 32 in the Tour de France. I lived an incredible year last year, and uh, it was great. It was, uh, it was a successful one for us, and uh, it was great to be part of. 1,000 metres of racing to go. Are we going to see Eddie Merckx's record? matched by Mark Cavendish. Cavendish is about to get ready, but Ballerini has a little bit of a gap on the rest of the riders. Who's going to take this one? Morcal is getting set to lead out Mark Cavendish. Is this going to be the record of Max? Philipson goes on the left-hand side. Mark Cavendish, the Max missile, matches Max. 34 wins in the Tour de France. 23 was a great year. I got double digits in wins, uh, which I hadn't done for a while. And uh, obviously to win five stages, have the yellow jersey, the green jersey, for, the yellow jersey the first day, the green jersey for every day. It was a, it was a beautiful year. For 2021 and now 2022 with Team Quickstep, it seems that his mojo, his confidence is back, and there's a sense of appreciation from fans and those with inside the sport that they witnessed the return of one of cycling's all-time greats. In my career I've always had people say well done or, or congratulations but people started to say thank you. Some people said well thank you for the enjoyment of watching it. It was simply that. 
whether he said it before and I hadn't noticed or the answer, I don't know. But I had a realisation last year that, you know, fans don't watch sports people. Fans live that. They don't watch your journey, they live that journey with you. And uh, I really felt that. And uh, it, it, it was beautiful. That was what made my year.